Okay, given two vectors, uh, A and B, calculate magnitude and direction of A cross B. Uh, this is a cross product. If the vectors are perpendicular to each other. So the question want us to find, okay, hold on a second. Okay, so the question want us to find the, uh, all right, the magnitude, the magnitude and direction. Uh, it, and this is also important. They are perpendicular. These two vectors are perpendicular to each other. That means 90 degree. Okay. So now, we want to find the cross product. This is a cross product. Yeah? Another thing to take note is this is a cross product, not a dot product. Okay. So how? So let us do it. Okay. First of all, we, uh, to find the cross product, of course, there is a mathematical way to find the cross product using this one, this uh, i, j, and then you fill up, uh, uh, you know, 3, 2, uh, negative 5, 8, and so on. But that's not uh, required in this question, okay? We, we, we don't require this, uh, this method to apply in these questions because uh, there is another way to find the um, magnitude, yeah? Any, in fact, we just want to find the magnitude and direction, okay? Uh, we, don't, we don't need to find the vectors of... We know the cross product will give us a vector, but we don't need to find the vector. We just need to find the magnitude and direction. So, uh, to find the magnitude of this cross product, there is another formula, which is this one. Just the magnitude of the cross product, okay? Just the magnitude of this cross product, Okay, the magnitude of cross product is actually equal to the magnitude of the vector A itself multiplied by the magnitude of the vector B sine theta. Ah, okay. Ah. So, now how to find uh, this, uh, how to find this magnitude of this cross product? Okay, how to find? Uh, so, uh, first of, to find the magnitude of the cross product, yeah, magnitude of this cross product, we need to find the magnitude of A, and then find the magnitude of B, and the theta here, look at the angle. The angle here is 90 degree. Ah, it is 90 degree. So, so this is the theta between the, this theta is actually angle between these two vector, you know? The angle between these two vector. The angle between these two vector is actually, 90 degree ah sorry uh it's actually 90 degree ah okay so how how to find uh okay let us proceed yeah to find uh so we here we got sine 90 yeah now let us first find the magnitude of a magnitude of a magnitude of a is actually equal to yeah sorry Rub it off again. Magnitude of A is actually equal to, uh, to find the magnitude, we use Pythagoras theorem. We already have 3i and 2j, so we just do Pythagoras theorem. 3 square plus 2 square, and then we do square root. Uh, so what's the answer? Let us calculate. 3 square plus 2 square, and then we have square root. Yeah, square root 13. Maintain insert form so more accurate. Ah, so square root 13. Now, how about the magnitude of B? Magnitude of B is actually equal to uh, we also have the vector B, so just um, you know, uh, negative 5 square plus uh, 8 square square root. Ah, so, what's the answer? Negative 5 square plus 8 square and then square root. Yeah, it's third 89. Third 89. Okay. So, uh, so we just substitute into here. So we already have the magnitude of A, third 13. Multiply with the magnitude of B, which is third 89. Uh, sine, what's the angle between A and B? Angle between A and B is 90. Uh, 90 degree. And what is actually 90, sine 90? Sine 90, if you press calculator, is equal to 1. Uh, make sure your calculator is in degree form, yeah? In degree form. 
So, ah, okay. So, okay. So now, uh, third. Okay, let's uh calculate third nine thirteen. Uh, multiply third eighty nine. So we got the answer. Ah, thirty four point uh zero one. Uh, thirty four point zero one. Uh, what is this uh, quantity? Is this a uh, displacement of uh, force, Newton, or velocity? Not mentioned. So we cannot do anything. We just put as unit. Uh, yeah. We we must also write the unit. Eh? If it has no unit, just write unit there. Yeah. We we need to treat every quantity as unit. Okay. So now, uh, let us uh, yeah. This so this is the this is the answer. Uh, this is the magnitude. So this is the magnitude of um, the cross product. Okay, we got it already. Uh, okay, easily. We no need to find this one. This one you get a vector first. A ve you will surely get a vector C first. Uh, if you, you use this this method, the matrix method, you will get a vector C. After you get a vector C, you also find the magnitude of vector C. Uh, you also will get 34.01 unit. Yeah, you also get the same answer. Uh, so there's actually two ways to find the magnitude of the cross product. One way is this, this uh, equation. Another way is using the matrix method. Uh, okay. So, but this one, this matrix method, you surely get a vector first. Yeah, you, you won't directly get a you won't directly get the magnitude because what you get is a vector. You ve get a vector first because we know that the cross product, a cross product actually is a vector product. Actually, it's a vector product. Uh, that means when the, you multiply these two vectors together, you get another vector. Uh, the, the product is a vector. That's why cross product, you get a vector product. You get a vector first, also in uh, ij form. Yeah? Also, it has i and uh, j. Uh, then from there, you magnitude, you get 34.01 unit. Okay? Now, that's uh, the other thing. So, uh, we already got the magnitude of the cross product. Now, we want to find the direction. How to find the direction of this cross product? Very simple. Just use your... For direction... You use your uh, right hand grip rule. Ah, right hand grip rule. Yeah, remember. Uh, remember you have uh, the hand here. Your this. Uh, imagine this is your hand. Okay, your hand. Okay. Uh, so you look at uh, it is A cross B. That means firstly, uh, it goes to A. It goes to A, and then it cross to it cross to B. Uh, maybe I should drag over here. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, just rub this off. Yeah. I draw again. Yeah. So talking about the right hand grip rule, we have this our hand. Okay, our hand. Firstly, uh, a cross b. The sequence is important. Okay. Look at this one. A is uh, number one. B is number two. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so firstly, the finger will show direction to the A, uh, and then it will cross to B. Uh, it will sweep. We call it uh, sweep to B. It will sweep to B. Yeah, from A sweep to B, and then the thumb. The thumb shows the. The thumb shows what? The thumb shows the direction of vector C, uh, or we can say. Uh, this is actually, uh, we can say this is actually the cross product, the direction of the cross product, which is a vector C. Uh, okay, so we want to find the direction of this vector C or the direction of the cross product. So how? Uh, so let us use our right hand grip rule. Yeah, our right hand grip rule. So let let us turn to this page. Okay, so here is our uh, two vector. Okay, vector A and vector B. Okay, vector A and vector B. So, use our cross product. Okay, so cross. Uh, firstly, this is our hand, our, my right hand. 
So my finger is uh, for A and B, and my thumb is the vector C or the cross product. Okay. So firstly, my finger should because it start from it start from um, A uh, cross B. So it should start with A. Yeah, it should start with A and then go to B. So my finger should go to A first, then go to B. Then my thumb will show the C. Ah, okay. My thumb will show the C. So, so the sequence is important. So A first, yeah. A. So A. My, uh, so my finger. You see my finger. Uh, go to A first. Okay. Go to A, and then uh, cross B. Uh, cross B. A, cross B. This is my right hand, not my left hand. Uh, my right hand. A cross B, A cross B. So my finger is actually into the paper. Uh, my finger wow. is actually into the paper. Uh, A cross A cross B. My finger, my my thumb, my thumb. Uh, why I'm talking my thumb? You see, A cross A cross B. So my thumb is actually into the paper. Ah, uh, so this is my vector C. Uh, this is my vector C, or we can say this is my cross product. Uh, this is my cross product, uh, which is the vector C. Ah, uh, you get a vector. Uh, and the direction is, the direction is into the paper. Okay, cross. Uh, you see, uh, A cross B. So my my thumb is into the paper. Ah, uh, okay. So this is the cross direction of the cross product. Okay, let us look back to the questions. So, ah, uh, so we got the answer. Uh, my cross, my 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 thumb is into the paper. Uh, is uh, a cross b. Okay, which is vector c. Uh, so the answer is into the page. Or you want to write into the paper, also can. Okay? Uh, so the, the magnitude is uh, 34.01 unit. The direction is uh, into the paper. This is the uh, direction. Okay? Uh, sorry. The direction of the cross product. Uh, the di direction of the vector C. Okay? So that's all for these questions.